Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Browns Casita. I hope you had an amazing weekend and a week ahead. It's been a very cold and rainy days out here at the moment. Last weekend, we visited Jungchao again and decided to stay for a bit longer. But eventually, that didn't happen because three of us were not feeling well. It was a very strange flu that all of a sudden caught us. And as a result, we didn't really have a chance to enjoy around the island except getting our necessary stuff like food and some medicine. Anyway, thanks God, we are all home and getting so much better now. Despite of all the challenges that we experienced, my favorite part of our stay in the cottage of Chungchao Island was reading our books. Somehow it helped us entertain, escape and not to worry so much of the circumstances and challenges those days. Yesterday, after doing our grocery shopping with my husband, we stopped by in the flower market and saw these beautiful tea red roses and thought of placing them on our tiny dining table would change the ambience inside our home. And I wasn't wrong. It did brighten up our small space and help me think of what to create that I can share to all of you here today. So are we calling 911 right now? Since there's nothing much to explore outside at the moment, I thought of baking one of my favorite desserts wherever we go, and there's no way I can create this idea without looking or searching a recipe from a YouTube creator. I will link their channel if you are interested to try so you can also see the step-by-step -step process. This particular dessert called a lava cake. It is very rich, chocolatey, delicious, and perfect for every chocolate lover like me. Also, as lockdown hit the nation again, I am definitely one of the people that found myself more often in the kitchen, cooking or baking during this isolation days. It's been a way for me to relieve stress, anxiety, and being homesick for some time. For me, I think cooking or baking is a form of mindfulness. We've all heard the word mindfulness. It is very simply put, being focused and aware of what you are sensing, feeling and doing. As an exercise, mindfulness has been found to reduce stress and improve happiness. And in my opinion, cooking or baking is a perfect practice in mindfulness. It requires close attention when measuring, handling dough, taste testing, and following a recipe. And because of the focus required, this can help ease feelings of anxiety, depression, stress, and more. Instead of being caught in a healthy mental loop, you're focusing more of what's in front of you.
And to all of you who are watching our vlog today and feeling a bit under the weather or any challenges you are dealing with right now, I hope I am able to make you feel calm, peace, and feel inspired of living simple with intent. I encourage you to take a moment for yourself to do something that can make your soul happy. It's not just baking, it could be anything that's close to your heart. And again, Thank you so much for spending time with us today. I wish you have a lovely week ahead. Sending light, prayers and love. Kate from the Browns Casita. Thank you.